Praise the Lord, everyone. This is Pastor Rodney coming to you again with more instruction from God's Holy Word and your daily drive-by. Yeah, listen, today I want to talk to you all about from lust to love, from lust to love. You know, so many of us, we, we want love. We desire love. However, many of us have not learned love, but what we think is love is merely just lust. Lust is desire. Lust is what you hope, dream, fantasize, um, want, what you desire. Lust is something that really has its focus on you and not on the other person. Oh yeah, you don't mind helping the other person. You don't mind blessing the other person. But lust generally say, if you treat me right, I'll treat you right. Lust generally say, if you do this for me, I'll do this for you. Lust is, is the thing that says, you know what? Um, I've been doing all these things for you and you didn't do nothing for me. Lust is the thing that says, what have you done for me lately? Love on the opposite end gives and it never stops giving. Love doesn't change just because the person changes, but love stays the same. For the scripture says, whether there are prophecies, they will cease. But it says love never fails. The truth of the matter is many of us have never experienced love. All we've experienced is desire. And we experience being the object of someone else's desire. Or we have experienced um, using other people as our desire. And we have metamorphed lust, if you will, and called it love. But I'm here to tell you that if you ever said that you love someone and your main focus was not them and their betterment, friends, I'm here to tell you that it was merely just lust. It was merely just your desire. And what you'll find is that those desires or that feeling that you have, it changes based upon how the person performs. Many folks want to justify themselves and say, no, it was that person's fault. But the scripture says, love suffers long. Love is kind. Love never ends. Love bears all things. It believes all things. It hopes all things. And ultimately, what God has for us in relationships is love. What God has for us in the relationship that he has chosen for us is love. Oftentimes, many of you have said, you know, pastor, I desire love, but you know, why is it taking so long for me to find somebody? I'm, I'm tired of waiting. Well, God sometimes allows you to wait because you haven't learned love yet. You haven't learned to that when it comes to love, love is reciprocal and love is something that it needs love. Not that it needs love to continue because love will always be love. However, God, if he wants the best for you, doesn't he not want the best for your partner? So that means if you're still operating in lust, if you're still operating in desire, then God will cause for the meeting of the two of you to, to be elongated or to wait or to be static. Why? Because you're not ready. You're not ready for love. The scripture says in the fullness of time, Christ came because it tells us for God so loved the world that he gave. And so he gave Christ in the fullness of time. And I'm here to tell you that many times the reason why your relationships or your destiny in relationships have been delayed is because my friends, you have yet to understand what love is. And maybe it could be you. It could be your partner or it could be both of you in combination that God is bringing you to the place where you can now understand what love is and not lust and not desire. Many of us, that's all we know. And so because that's all we know, then we expect it. You know, we expect folks to, you know, when you when you get into relationships, think about it. Many people get into relationships and they come into the relationship mistrusting and they have no knowledge base. 
but their only knowledge base is not of that person, but it's of their former relationships. And because of that, your desire is now in full throttle. Why? Because your desire says, I got to protect me and I got to find out what's best for me. But my friends, God says, I know the plans that I have concerning you. Thoughts of peace and not of evil to bless you and to give you an expected end. It's important to know that God has the best for you. For the word of God tells us that every good and perfect gift comes from above. But think about it. It's like what some people have said about churches. There are no perfect churches. But if there was a perfect church, then once you walk in the door, that church is now Im imperfected. Why? Because you're not perfect. And so oftentimes, many of us, we want God to give us his best. And God is saying, okay, I'll give you my best. But now you must equally be the best. And so I want to ask you today, and we're going to start this conversation talking about what do you have inside of you? Is it really love or is it desire? When you meet somebody, are you right away fantasizing how things are going to be and the possibilities of what you guys could do? That's lust, my friends. Because you don't know enough about the person, nor have you taken the time to come to know the person or to come to understand the person based upon what you see in them do. Think about it. If you met them today, how many years have they lived apart from you? And so you have to understand who they are. And that's what the word of God talks about when it talks about love and when it talks about sex. It says, now Adam knew his wife Eve and she conceived. And so many people are ready to jump in bed and into relationships with one another without first knowing each other, without first coming to know each other. So they say, well, pastor, you know, that's why I'm jumping in bed with him because I'm trying to get to know them. No. That's not how you know someone. Because as you and I both know, that when you get in bed, the emotions that are spread there, even if you're worried about bills, even if you're stressed about anything else, many of those things become, they become faded, they become convoluted. Why? Because the focus is now sex. And that's why the word of God says that if we have sex with someone that's not our wives, we sin against our own bodies. And so it's important to know that many of us um, God cannot give us what we, what he has for us because we're still in the mind frame of lust. We're still in the mind frame of looking out for what's best for me and how I feel and what I want to do and what I want to accomplish. And God says, you're not ready. You're not ready because what you, what God has for you is, is firstly for his purposes. Then secondly, for the fulfillment of the plan that he has in both of you. In both of those areas, it requires for there to be love. It requires for there to be unselfish determinations. Many folks are not ready. You want, you want love. Yeah, you desire it. But you're not ready for it. You know, um, and so the question is, many folks say, well, oh, I'm ready for love. No, you're not ready for love. You're ready for desire to be fulfilled. You're ready for your loins to be fulfilled. You're ready for, you know, to have a baby. You're ready to get married. You're ready to share bills. You're ready for all that stuff like that. You're even ready for maybe to start your ministry. But are you ready for what God has? You don't know. The question is, Lord, help us. David said, create in me a clean heart and renew in me a right spirit. And that's my prayer for each of you today, that God would create in you a clean heart and renew in you a right spirit. God bless you as you go from lust to love.